Good morning, happy Sunday, everybody. I pray you had a nice, restful evening. I sure did. And I just wanted to um, encourage you in the Lord today that, you know, the time is short and I really wanna pray boldly for the lost. You know, I wanna pray for family members to come back to the Lord. I wanna pray for um, those that are, you know, dabbling in sin or full blown in sin to repent and come back. I've, I really feel heavy in my heart to pray that, you know, we pray this every day. I mean, whether you're on YouTube with me or just in your own, uh, you know, quiet time with the Lord, I know you're praying for the salvation of souls and for many to come back, but it's just been really heavy on my heart. So this morning I was reading in Romans and in, um, Paul, he says, you know, he said, my heart is full of sorrow unceasingly. And I go, wow, that sounds so desperate. You know, he's full of grief and he's full of sorrow. And it was for his Jewish brothers. And, you know, it's, it's sobering and it's also convicting because, you know, do we feel that strong sorrow in our heart for the lost to come back to the Lord, you know? And I think that you know, mothers can get this. And, you know, Paul had such a parental heart, you know, for his, uh, for people, you know, that he wanted them to be saved. And I know that Miss when Casey. I talk to, um, people Miss that I haven't Casey. talked to in a while, I don't have Miss Casey. Let's go basketball Daddy. and go home and hang out with daddy and Libby, mama and Isaac. Um, we, we, as moms and, and dads would agree as well, you feel broken for those that you know and love that aren't walking with Jesus, whether you raise them in Christ or not. You want to see them saved, you want to see them living an abundant life, and you want to see them in heaven. And Paul had that heart, you know? You know, I never thought about this. We never hear about Paul's kids. Did Paul have children? I don't know. I don't know if he did or not. To be honest with you, I've never studied that. But he always had such a tender heart for those that he mentored and discipled in the Lord. And so we just, I just pray that our heart would be broken like God's heart is. Our heart would be broken like Paul's heart was for people, you know, for people. We, we get our broken over, you know, kind of the dumbest things, you know, like our favorite, you know, coffee mug shatters or you know a trip gets canceled you know i mean olivia was so heartbroken during covid when she couldn't go to dance class which i totally understand you know i understand that but are we heartbroken for those that are dying without jesus that's what i pray that god would change our hearts that we would be so moved to pray constantly and fervently and unceasingly for the lost whether it's the homeless person on the street or whether it's, you know, someone we knew and loved that was backslidden or uh, our own children, you know, let's, let's pray boldly for hearts to repent and to come back to Jesus. And so God, I just thank you for this morning. I, I love Sundays. It's just such a beautiful reminder. It's the first day of the week and we get to go to church. We get to worship uh, our King Jesus. We get to worship you, Jesus. And I'm just so thankful for this beautiful Sunday morning, Lord. And, and yet I think my heart is heavy because my cousin passed away only 48 years old hadn't seen him in years you know my aunt and uncle are on the way to go um have to identify the body and it's just so sobering that our life is frail and we're here one day and then we're gone and so you know out of sight is not out of mind i pray that we would god truly pray for the lost because you care about them and you want to see all come to repentance father we want to worship you first and foremost before we dive into our requests we want to worship you you are god you are our rock you are our king you are the stone which the builders rejected who became the chief cornerstone you are jesus christ the righteous one you are jesus christ the messiah the one that came out of nazareth you are jesus a friend of sinners you are jesus the way the truth and the life you are the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the lamb that was slain. You are God most high, El Elyon. You are El Roy, the God who sees us. You are Emmanuel, God with us. You are holy and the angels sing. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. 
who was and is and is to come. And since you're a holy God, you know that we are full of sin and tainted by sin. It's in our DNA. When Adam and Eve sinned, sin came into the world and it was passed on to me, to all of us, Lord. So please forgive us of all of our sins. Lord, we know that you are the lamb and by your stripes king jesus we're saved forgive us of our daily sins father the sins of our mind the sins of our will um all of our sins god from from birth even until now forgive us jesus we know that pride and selfishness they smell and they are evil and wicked and we don't want to walk in our selfish ways we want to be like what you said jesus Whoever desires to follow me, he must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For what profits a man or a woman if she gains the whole world but loses her soul? So God, forgive us of our sins. We repent. We repent now in this prayer time of, of our pride, God, of thinking that we know what this day holds. I don't know what today holds. August 8th, 2021. I don't know what's going to happen today, but you do. You hold the future. You hold our very next moments in your hands and all of our days are written in your book. So God, please forgive us of just being so um, silly and, and childish to think that we know what tomorrow holds. We don't. Only you do, God. So forgive us of all of our sins, Lord. And we are thankful. Make us thankful people, Lord. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and sing praise to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning. Lord, I just thank you for the gift of life for today. I thank you that I am alive. I thank you that I am saved. I thank you for all of those praying along with me that they are saved. They're heaven bound. They are children and sons and daughters of the Most High God. And you've not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of adoption that we could cry out, Abba, Father, thank you for that, God. Thank you that even though the world is in complete chaos and complete disarray, you are not. You're not sit, sitting in heaven, uh, wringing your hands, saying, what's going to happen? I don't know what's going to happen with this coronavirus. I don't know what's going to happen with this or that, with the children's future. You are not confused or scared or anxious about anything. You are completely solid rock solid God is who you are you are a rock and you are on the throne you are the king ruling over all of the nations over the earth Lord and so God we just thank you that we can trust in you father and I do want to pray for the lost I pray for those that are backslidden God I pray for Barbara's children Lord those that are walking with you and those that are backslidden would you prick their hearts Jesus would you bring non-belief would you bring believers in the path of her children and of all of those praying with me bring strong christian friends and people to speak life into their kids journey lord please god i just pray for revival in the hearts of our children and even those praying along with me of grandchildren lord i thank you for people like my daughter olivia who's christian she's all of 15 and she knows you god i pray you would use her this school year with her friend group with her dance friends with everyone she comes into contact with lord i pray for um all of our kids and 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 those that we know and love even for um nieces and nephews and um just all of the people that are near and dear to our hearts that are walking with you that you would use them mightily lord jesus and for the backslidden god for those into drugs into alcohol into you know maybe they're living with a boyfriend or a girlfriend or maybe they're just saying you know what i don't need god i'm good i've got a good job i make money i you know i don't need god that was good for you mom and dad but i i'm rejecting that i pray for them too that you would wake them up that you would just um just the same way when we're driving in California traffic and we have to slam on our brakes, help them in their spirit slam on their brakes and to realize that they've been living for self. And so was Pharaoh. And so was, you know, the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, and so many others, God, I don't want to live for self. And so please, God, help these that are, you know, just living in the world, just living it up, not worried about coronavirus, not worrying about anything because they're good. You know, in the world system, they're good. But 
they're on a path of destruction. So I just pray you would draw them back with cords of love. I want to pray for my brother Anthony this morning, who's so sad about the death of my cousin Cinto. Would you comfort him? Would you help him to remember that even a whisper, God comfort me, God help me, is a prayer? Would you use this death of my beloved cousin to cause my brother to pray again? To cause him to, to talk to you again, Jesus? Because you hear our cries. You are not far from the brokenhearted. You're near to the brokenhearted. I want to lift up my cousin, my um, friend Tim this morning who's battling cancer. I lift him up to you, God. Please, Jesus, have mercy on him. He knows you. He loves you. I know he's going to heaven. If he was to pass away, I know where he'll be. But I just pray for his health, that you would extend his life, Jesus, for Tim, for Christina Wolf, for Jennifer, for Riley, for Lance, for so many battling cancer. I pray for them, God, for Re Regina as well, my precious uh, Moms in Prayer friend um, who has been battling breast cancer. I lift her up to you, Jesus. Would you strengthen her heart? I pray for Magali and all that she's going through in Montana. Would you strengthen her? For my dear friend, Laura Ramirez, who's a single mom. I want to pray for all the single moms right now who, who every day battle. Every day it's a struggle, whether it's their finances, whether it's their anger towards their ex, whether it's um, just the day-to-day -day struggles. I want to pray for all the single moms, Lord, even Please. the single moms of those Cookie. who are grown Please. like Sandy. Strengthen Brother. her, Lord. Give her um, your special assignments for every single day, God. Please, Lord. I pray for all the special needs families, God, for the day-to-day -day battles that they go through with OCD and autism and bipolar and schizophrenia and um, just different disabilities, God. You know what they are. Comfort them. Strengthen them. And, Father, for this terrible issue of suicide going on, so many people are, are killing themselves, and it just breaks my heart, especially young people. Please, please, God, would you stop them in their tracks? Would you help them to see that their life has value, Lord? The enemy comes to still kill and destroy, but you've come to give us life and life abundantly. Would you just help them to not hurt themselves? Would you help them to cry out to a friend, to a counselor, to a therapist, to a coach, to somebody, anybody, Lord? Please, please, my God. I pray for all the pastors that are preaching your word in season and out of season. They're standing up for righteousness. Pastor Joe, Pastor David, Pastor Jack, Ben Corson, John Corson, so many others. Use them, Lord. Use their lives. Use their ministry. Use their churches. Use their Sunday morning pulpits and midweek service pulpits to preach the gospel and that many would be saved. Father, please, please, God. Use Isaac. Use anybody and anything to save these lost souls. We know we're living in the last days and i pray for this um california governor election we're going to get ballots on august 16th in a week please god would you replace the governor and put a new man in our governor's position in the state of california that would rule and and be a governor in righteousness and have integrity and would pray please god teach us to pray and I pray for revival in our nation, Lord. So many evil and wicked things are going on. I pray against this COVID virus and all these variants, Lord. Be with our doctors and our nurses and protect us from not just the virus, but from the, the virus of um, apathy, of not caring, Lord. That's what's heavy on my heart. Help us of Christians of all people to care, to care enough to pray, to care enough to check on people, Lord. I just lift up all these things to you and I thank you. Thank you for the beautiful Friday I got to have with Sandy and Elena. Would you bless my sisters? Bless them. Bless our upcoming prayer night. Would you bless Olivia? I pray for Tommy's um, repentance of just the vices that he struggles with God. And I just pray for all of these things and so much more lord lift up your prayers brothers and sisters the things that are bothering you the things that are hurting you the things that have been prompted on your mind pray over them right now jesus your scripture says that you wept you know what it's like to hurt so thank you that you're near to us that you love us and that you're not done with us give us special assignments today we love you, Jesus. We praise you. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Have a beautiful day with Jesus.